Hey everyone, welcome back to another travel vlog. I am back in Dublin, my favourite place. Today is Saturday the 8th of July. I'm not gonna lie guys, it is just gone 6 o'clock at night but I have been on the go since 4 o'clock this morning. I got to bed at 2 o'clock this morning so uh, we're working on two hours sleep. I'm a bit delirious. But I got into Dublin this morning. The first thing we did was we just came and checked into our hotel. They were able to accommodate us with an early check-in. I am staying hotel, but we're actually staying in the staycation apartment. So let me give you a little bit of a tour before I completely decimate it. Now it's not really an apartment. I would say it is, it's probably slightly larger than your average hotel room to be totally fair. It's, and it's certainly bigger than the room Lindsay and I had when we stayed at the Wren been nest the last time although that was slightly more central this is still a very very central place to be staying it's the staycation apartments on mark street in dublin just behind trinity college so still really really central you know everything's walkable but you're just not quite as in the center as the Wren urban nest that i stayed in the last time so it is bigger than in comparison to that kind of hotel room but to a kind of normal hotel room it's a kind of standard size i would say so you've got the king bed um, there's like a little kind of shelving unit up there uh, I've got some stuff up there cases are here I've done a little bit of shopping today the kind of big thing about this being an apartment is that you have got a little small hob a sink coffee machine and then over here and here you've got like pots and pans a toaster um, Oh, there it is. I was looking in the cupboard for the microwave. Like I said, I'm on two hours sleep. I'm absolutely delirious. So you've got a microwave and a fridge. Utensils here. Cutlery here. It's actually quite cute. They've even got, if you guys can see up there, there's like plastic cutlery. So if you were taking a picnic out for the day or something, you've got plastic cutlery there. Um, glasses, etc. in there and a little dishwasher. So you could stay here, I mean obviously it's not, well actually to be fair in comparison to rent in Dublin this is probably not bad. Um, so they call it like a studio apartment and you could you could do like a kind of proper little supermarket shop and stay here for a sort of extended period of time which I would like to do at some point. Uh, that was actually partly why I decided to book this was to see how it would be as a base because there's quite a lot of Ireland that I want to see that is, like I love Dublin, Dublin's great, but there's so much that I want to see, but I think the simplest thing in terms of getting around and getting between places is to have Dublin as a base and go from there to all the different places I want to go. Um, so I would like to come back and stay kind of like for two weeks or something in Dublin, but be traveling around a little bit more and getting out of Dublin a bit and um, so that was partly why I wanted to stay here this trip to kind of test it out. Not slept obviously or anything yet but so far so good. So you've got your little kitchen, you've got table and chairs and um, then down here there is a wardrobe so shelf, hangers, there's a safe in there, my handbags, shoes are in at the bottom. And then in terms of the bathroom, WC, sink, etc. And then there's no bath, but there's uh, quite a decent sized shower. So really impressed so far with the room. And it wasn't too expensive. It was going to say like 6 50 or something for four nights. The RRP was like slightly higher, but if you book directly and basically put your email address in and sign up to their like their club or whatever it is and um, you get a percentage off so the sort of on the peg price was higher but like you don't need to have stayed at anything to sign up to their club you can get that money off before your first stay so um so far would really recommend we are just over there is a train just outside our window that might annoy some people uh, I actually have, we have an embankment um, with a train line running through it, like down at the bottom of our garden, so we're kind of used to it. Obviously this is, if you look out this window, so that's the train line there, so it's much, much closer than it is at home, but yeah, I feel like I'm kind of used to train noise, so it's not the prettiest view out the window or anything, but 
it's it's a base to stay in so I'm not looking for an exceptional view so yeah we get in this morning they accommodated us to let us in for an early check-in so came in actually put my makeup on etc and then we went out for lunch we went to a place called bow bun it was really really good and not very expensive so if you're kind of looking for Dublin on a budget pretty good if you like a bow bun I'm a big fan of a bow bun I know Lauren is not so I'm here with my grant this time by the way not with Lauren in case I just made it sound like I'm bullied turned into coming for bow buns with me oh there's a train going by if you can no you totally can't see that through the window I don't know if you can hear it either like there's a little bit of a rumble but it's not bad anyway um, yeah, so well, I'm not with Lauren. I kind of I feel like I made that, that sound like I just forced her to come for about ones that she didn't really want to. Um, but yeah, if you liked it, it was really good, and I had like a dessert bow bun as well, so I was all over that. And then this afternoon we went on the guided tour of the GPO, which was really really good. I couldn't really film it or vlog it because it was the guided tour, and it was a very small group. There was only four of us. I would say like if you're interested in Irish history this is the one that I did today is like the basic guided tour on a Saturday it's designed to sort of accommodate all levels of knowledge you could go in knowing nothing and it would sort of bring you up to speed if you're really into it you're probably not going to get any new information from it as such but it was really interesting to sort of hear it sort of summarized in a way um, and sort of linearly sort of laid out and you know she started kind of back at the lockout and went from there through to uh, right into the troubles actually um up into the 90s so that's probably past where my sort of interest in the period of history ends as well so I probably did actually learn something new I've just said I didn't probably did uh, but I mean in terms of the GPO being you know the headquarters of the 1916 rising and that period of history if you're interested in that already the basic tour on a Saturday probably doesn't tell you anything you don't already know but it was still really interesting I really enjoyed it and I would definitely recommend it to anyone who's just visiting for the first time and doesn't really have a lot of knowledge really really good definitely would recommend I'm really interested they do every so often they do like more sort of specialized tours that are focused on sort of one aspect of things and I would definitely like to come and do some of those tours as well. Very excitingly if you guys watched my Dublin haul for the last four times, the first time I came I saw this Dublin print and I didn't buy it and I have always regretted it and the last couple of times I've been I've gone and I've checked it and I've not been able to buy it unframed and I'd said this time if I came and it was available I was just going to get it so I got it so let me show you that. So this is what it looks like, it's in a frame, it's not the frame I would have chosen, I might get it reframed because I've got the other Dublin print that I showed in my Dublin haul and I'd like to hang them side by side and I don't think, well actually I don't know, I'll get this frame home and see how it looks. But this is my Dublin print, so the other one is the, the places of the 1916 Rising, whereas this is more just generically a beautiful Dublin print. So. I'm so, so pleased that I finally, finally got it. Also, yes, I finally, finally got my nails done. So I do have sort of negative space, which is uh, deliberate, but I feel like sometimes when you just glance at them, they look as if they're a little bit chipped, but no, they are meant to be sort of abstract green with negative space. I feel like the negative space is really useful as like a design for when your nails start to grow out a little bit, because I feel like it makes it less obvious that they've started to grow out if there's other negative space so that's why I went for that but anyway after the GPO we we wandered some of the shops but I didn't really see anything of note and we ended up we went to Dunn's so I will insert some footage from Dunn's because we've got like toaster and stuff in our room this time um, I'm actually in Dunn's we're gonna get some bread some butter make some toast um, and get some room snacks so, my rule here though is that I only want things that I cannot get, I cannot get easily at home. So, dilemma, I'm usually a Kerry Gold girl, but I can get that at home. But it is Irish. But do I try something else? I have seen, I'm very interested in this. 
which is Irish Cottage Garlic Gold but it is for toast in the morning and I feel like maybe the morning is not the time for garlic toast but this looks good for all other times of day but yeah so there's like Kerry Mead, Dairy Gold and Dairy Mead I don't know what to do and I have to make a decision so none of you can really influence me because by the time you're seeing this exceptionally riveting content about butter I will have committed to one and purchased it 3 for 5 euros on 2 litre diet cokes like that's far better than you're getting in Scotland at the moment thanks probably to Brexit or the banks or the Bank of England or whoever but yeah definitely a better deal here 6 litres of diet coke for 5 euro will take and the answer as to which butter we went for decided to go for this even more pure Irish unsalted butter. That would have probably not been my choice, but I'm not the only one using it. Basically, we just decided to go for the one that we could get the smallest of because we're really only here for four days. Um, we're not going to be able to take butter home with us. So, so much of this will unfortunately go to waste. So it, it seems silly to buy a bigger one. So that ended up being the decision maker. Uh, so we got, got the butter. I did also get Milky Bar Carmelo. You can't get this in the UK. It's totally different to just like a normal... Did I just call that Milky Bar? I did say I'm on two hours sleep. Um, a Dairy Milk Carmelo. Uh, so it's totally different to like a Dairy Milk, like a Caramel Dairy Milk. Um, you know, it's, it's a like smoother, runnier filling. It's beautiful. And then at the airport this morning, I picked up some of the Cadbury Mint Crisp. So these are both excellent chocolate bars that you cannot get in the UK so would recommend if you are in Ireland. Um, I also picked up this whiskey and ginger and um, they did have a Jameson one but Jameson we're not supporting at the moment for political reasons so yeah I decided to try this one from West Cork. Milk again this even more brand I don't know don't know if it's a good brand or not uh, cheese, Diet Coke, I was going to get three of these because there was a great, they were two litre bottles or three for five euro and I know that I'm really old now that I think that's exciting news but that's such a good deal compared to at home. We did get these, I'm very excited about these, Bonofi desserts, love a Bonofi. The butler's chocolates are to go home to my grandfather, unfortunately not for us but hey ho. Then this is the, the bread that we plumped for the high fibre Brennan's traditional loaf that was a compromise between not getting a white loaf and not getting a superseded loaf to try and suit both of us um, I also got these, they kind of just look like potato scones but they're called potato breads and you can toast them, I feel like a potato scone you would always just fry so I feel like it looks similar but it's slightly different so I'm excited to try these as well then crisp wise, so at the airport this morning I picked up my O'Donnell's Valley Moo Relish and Cheddar Cheese and then also picked up the Tato Occasion Sea Salt and Vinegar. Then in Dunn's I got a bigger bag of the Tato Occasions and I also got these which I discovered the last time I was here, thoroughly enjoyed. Banshee Bones, they're kind of like Space Raiders at home but they're salt and vinegar. Um, really, really like him. Then I got these to try. Richie's Milky Mints. I enjoy anything mint flavoured, so thought I'd give them a go. I got these salted caramel M&Ms. I don't feel like I've seen them at home, so I could be wrong, because I know we do get different varieties of m and but I feel like I haven't seen salted caramel, so we picked them up. Mentos were from the plain, so... Yeah, that is the, the chat for now. The plan for tonight was actually that we were going to order Chinese, but I feel like we are both just so tired that we're pretty much, I think, just gonna make some toast and have some crisps. And I want to have a shower. I didn't do like a proper full body exfoliation that I would usually do before I go on holiday. So if I can summon up the energy, I'm going to do that tonight. If I can, I'm hoping I can get an early night and then do it tomorrow before we head out. So. That's the thought process. Um, if we do order Chinese, I will update you and show you it. I think if we don't order it today, we'll order it tomorrow night, but the plan was to order it tonight. 
and to have the leftovers tomorrow night because we're going for a Sunday roast tomorrow. The plan for this trip originally, I really wanted to get out and explore a couple of areas that I really wanted to go to. I wanted to do a cliff walk up at Crouth. They have a beautiful cliff walk and also there was some, there was like a gun run there in the lead up to the rising so there, there's like commemorative plaque and stuff and there's a seafood restaurant that I really wanted to try but our weather is generally to be terrible for the next couple of days so the plan was tomorrow we're doing the Glasnevin Cemetery tour in the morning, really looking forward to that but the plan tomorrow afternoon we were doing our Sunday roast then we were going to go down to Dunleary and do like a walk along the pier and go see the Roger Casement statue and things and it's now supposed to be thunder and lightning so we're not doing that but we have now booked tickets for Riverdance so I was meant to be like going you know to like sort of more local places getting off the beaten tourist track and I'm going to see Riverdance like the most touristy thing you could possibly do um, but it is what it is so that's now the plan for tomorrow my cliff walk which was supposed to be on Monday we're now actually oh there's a train going by again uh, the cliff walk on Monday has again we've decided to call it off because again right now we're looking at thunder and lightning so I don't mind being out in the rain but when you're going on like a four and a half hour cliff walk to do like a scenic cliff walk and it's just going to rain for the whole time that's a bit miserable so we have now booked to go to the Wicklow National Park where I realise it'll still be raining but you'll be on a tour bus then just off it to take some pictures have a look and be back on so you won't be like soggy and stomping around in the rain um, and then we're also going to Kilkenny on Monday so getting a little bit like still super touristy not getting like anywhere local or anything but getting a little bit out of Dublin like widening my scope tiny tiny amount so pleased with that at least um, and then Tuesday day in Dublin a little bit of shopping that's my actual birthday on Tuesday so something a nice breakfast and a nice sort of late lunch early dinner um very chilled out sort of day but i do have a very nice dress for tuesday which i'm very excited about uh, so that is the plan for the week so yeah if we get chinese tonight i will update you i will show you what we ordered etc if i don't update you then just presume that we just had toast which i think we're so tired is what we're leaning towards so we shall see we'll see what happens Sorry, I've just signed off, but before I go, actually, I just wanted to highlight this, which I think is a really good thing. So, in Dutton's, it tells you your total, like, what you bought, etc. Um, but it also highlights here your total Irish purchases, um, which I am very into. I think that's a really, really good thing to be doing and make people, you know, more aware of what they're purchasing and what they're supporting and whether it's their local economy and their, their own country or whether it's things that have come from outside their country so yeah I think that's a really good initiative on behalf of Dunn stores. I feel like I really did try to buy as much stuff that I couldn't get at home as possible but Diet Coke obviously is not Irish and although I bought things that you can't get at home they're not necessarily Irish things I suppose so yeah I was trying to be more like not getting things that you can get at home diet coke aside but i didn't shop exclusively irish about half of my shop was irish so we'll, we'll try and do better next time <laughs> 